Okay, so I noticed there is a lack of gland removal videos on coyotes on YouTube. And granted, I already removed the anal glands uh, without thinking to do this video. Maybe I'll do a future video on that, as graphic as it may be. Um, but I'm going to show you how I remove the glands on the paws. It's real simple. I only do the back feet. Dogs scrape with their back feet after they poop or pee and so that's where most of the glands are as well as some in their cheeks uh, that's also a different video perhaps i will do a cheek and anal gland removal video at some point in the future but for this video take the paw bend the toes get you a sharp knife i personally use the smith and wesson hrt just for this and I go at the very back of the rear pad, right where the fur starts. And open it up. There is one pad. I normally like to go a little bit deeper than I did on that one. I was kind of watching the camera to make sure you could see. So I will just watch the paw on this one. There we go. And there you have the gland removal. And I rot those down uh, in glycerin. And once they're rotted down and smell, in my opinion, like they should smell, then I add some sodium benzate to it, or benzoate. Don't know how you pronounce it, but... Uh, this stuff... I get it from Minnesota brand, uh, Marty at Keg Creek also sells it, um, I'm also using the MB Glycerin, uh, I don't use glycol, just, I've heard bad things about glycol with regards to covering up scent over time, don't know if it's true or not, but glycerin works. One thing I use the front paws for, I will keep this until it starts smelling obscenely bad, and I will use that at my sets. So, make little scrapes with it, Let's get some coyote scent on there, I will brush, find my pan with this, as opposed to my quote-unquote scent-free gloves, not these ones. Use this, just a little trick that... I, as a relatively new trapper, have discovered. Um, so yeah, there's your video.